What is up YouTube Chase right here and I'm gonna show you an amazing tweak if you have a jailbroken iOS device. So I am running an iPhone 7 on iOS 10.1 uh, jailbreak and if you are jailbroken go to Cydia and you want to add this tweak right here if you do have an Apple CarPlay device. So if you do have an Apple CarPlay stereo you can install this tweak and you can do something very awesome. So it's called NGX uh, Play. And what this lets you do is actually install applications onto your Apple CarPlay system. So as you can see, by default, I only have the call, music, maps, messages. I'm not sure what's, which one's this. You have books and you have Spotify. So these are the only apps that are supported and a few more we have to download, but these are the only apps that are supported for the Apple CarPlay. So once you install that tweak, all you wanna do is go to the application that it gives you. So you wanna open that. I'll let that focus and all you can do is go to applications and you can figure any application so let's just say that I want let's see um, a game so tiny strike and you can do mirror or external mirror what it does is you control uh, on your device external will be that you control it on the stereo so I'll put external for that if it doesn't work for external, go to mirror because sometimes not all apps are supported by external. So there it is. Um, you can put Snapchat, almost any application on your device can be installed onto your Apple CarPlay device. But the catch is you always have to have your iPhone, iPad, or whatever you're using connected to your Apple CarPlay system. So as you can see, I am on the wired connection and you do need to be on the wired connection to actually make Apple CarPlay work. So Instagram. I want to activate that Fandago um, all right so I just put all the applications on my device so all you want to do is configure and respring so it should respring by itself and once it's fully resprung um, I'll be back it says okay more respring and if it doesn't respring by itself um, go to any tweak settings or if you do have um, a respring application click on respring and once it resprings we should be good to go on the Apple CarPlay system so I'll be back once it's fully done. All right, so it's respringing my device. We just wait, and there it is. So, let's lock my device. There it is. New applications on my device. So, as you saw, we didn't have Facebook, Fandago. Uh, we have Snapchat, Instagram. I just changed the icon. We have the PlayStation. Uh, we have Viva, which is a movie box alternative. We have this game. We have Snapchat. So we can actually do Snapchat. I do not recommend you using games, Snapchats, or videos onto your device because it is very dangerous. So do use this at your own risk. I'm not responsible if you crash your car or anything if you're distracted with this. Next page, we have YouTube, Wish. So we can do so many things. So let's open up YouTube, which is the number one thing you can do on an Apple CarPlay device. So we open that up. And let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Lou Unbox Therapy. If you're wondering how the audio works, it does work. So, series on YouTube. This is gadgets under a particular price point. So as you can see, it is working. We can make this as full screen as well. There it is. So let's take that off and take off the video. Uh, there it is. Uh, let's go back. Let's open up another application. Um, Slither. So. If you have like little brothers or sisters or you just like kids if you're a grown-up you can put this for your kids they can play but I doubt you want your kids playing on your stereo and you might get distracted so um, just in case or you want to impress your friends that your Siri can do this so for some apps you do have to unlock your device if not will not give you access to it so device unlocked just leave it there and once we open it there it is um, play IA as you can see, it's very smooth. As you can see, full 30 frames per second. And I forgot to mention, um, when actually doing this, let's unlock my device. When actually doing this, go to the settings, and the default will be at 15. So frames per second right here, FPS, the default will be 15. Raise it up always to 30. 30 frames per second will be amazing on your CarPlay stereo. So once you do that, uh, do enable uh, 30, 30 frames per second. Um, now Snapchat, I know a lot of you guys want to see how Snapchat works. And if you want to add me on Snapchat, I'll leave a code up your screens right now. So there, 
Let's go right here. So there it is. I do have the camera. So to actually take a picture, you do need your iPhone. This camera to actually do this. As you can see, my windshield is very dirty. I need to clean the car. But as you can see, let's flip it. Oh, you control this, I forgot, externally. So, double tap. As you can see, there are you guys. You can see, camera. That's you guys right there. So you can see Snapchat is working on the CarPlay system. Now let's go to, let's just say, let's go to Fandango. We want to order some movies. So let's use our current location. All right, so let's say we want to order a movie with our CarPlay enabled device. As you can see, you can do almost anything with this um, hack right here. So you can play games, you can watch movies, you can watch YouTube videos, you can do so many things with NGX Play on your Apple CarPlay device. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to watch the videos, come your way, see you soon in the next one. Peace.